hey, do you all want to approach the wizard? I'd love to, Griff. This one was sent in by Jennifer. Thank you, Jennifer. The wizard's familiar. And it's a WikiHow article called How to Become a Loving and Caring Pokemon Trainer with Your Plush. So you're a devoted Pokemon fan, right? Yeah. Yes. Yeah, and you want to have a physical part of the game in your life. Yep. Well, this article is going to show you how with a Pokemon plush. Step one, making it real. Start out mm. by getting your first or second Pokemon plush. Wait. I, yeah, I don't know. Like, what? what what's, is the first oh, one maybe like you already burner? have your first one, and you're like, I didn't make that one real enough, and it's yeah. too late to go back Oh, now. I chewed way too much on my first one. It is so heavy with my slobber. There yeah, is, yeah, yeah, I yeah. have to get a fresh one to start I over. can't imbue it with any kind of reality at this point. This will be your companion for the rest of your journey. You should make sure you will love them forever, so choose a plush Pokemon character you like. What plush would you guys pick? Um, probably, I mean, Mega Rayquaza has the highest stats still of all Pokemon. That's not the right the answer. Pokemon. What about you, Justin? Okay. Wow. Mm. Well, Travis, you are you are famously the Pokemon expert of the family. Thank you. So. Ghastly. Uh, no. It's Eevee. I mean, that's a, that's. We've had um, a lot of fun here naming Pokemon, but maybe we can move Eevee's move the forward. best one. Eevee has so much potential. What will it be? That's up to me, whatever I nickname it in Pokemon Go. And two, cute. Is it a dog? Is it a fox? Or do you mean two of the cutest animals on Earth? a fucking dog. Travis, just listen. Listen with your listening ears. Nicknames are important. I do want to say that I've played quite a few Pokemon games with Henry, and he has a delightful way of nicknaming Pokemon, which is that he wants them to have the strongest sounding name ever. We caught one, uh, it was a legendary Pokemon in his defense, but he did call it King of Gods, which <laughs> felt like a... <laughs> Yes! Yeah, fuck yeah, dude. The same naming convention as, like, Godzilla movies, and I love that. And then make your trainer name. This is what your Pokemon will call you. I... Griffin is fine. Yeah, I've been just in a while. Mr. McElroy. Mr. McElroy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, making a home. Find a secret place that pets and siblings can't get to, for this will be your Pokemon's home. Don't get in my weed, Pokemon. <laughs> hey, 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 Vulpix, get out of there. Hey, You're hey not Vulpix, there's that. one place my, my rotten kids can't reach, so you got to keep an eye on my sash, pal. It's Daddy's high-up stinky shelf. You don't... <laughs> No one gets to know. And then food. Get some fake food to feed your plush, such as clay poffins, poke blocks, berries, and poke puffs, or doll food. Did you say did you say clay poffins when you meant to say play coffins? Yeah, yeah sorry, feed, sorry. Yeah. Feed your feed your Snorlax some play coffins. <laughs> the the next step is you can spoon feed it to your plush. That's all it says. And that is where that is, I mean, I've taken umbrage with a few of the points of this article so far, but I do think that if Pokemon was real, like I pray to Christ every night and make wishes on stars, um, <laughs> and that 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 would be my reality. The idea that then, like, every night, my friends would be like, "Hey, Griffin, come out and party with us," and be like, "I can't. I have to spoon feed every single one of my Pokemon, or they'll." They will die. And and plus, guys, if I don't spoon feed Mr. Mime specifically, he gets angry. That's good, Travis. That's a good, that's another great point. You're gonna have to spoon feed even the dude shaped Pokemon. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> the one that looks like just a, a tiny blonde woman in a red dress. Yeah, the one that's a dude who who moves around. Yeah, Hitmonchan is just gonna be sitting in front of you. And he's going to try to pick up the fucking spoon with his boxing gloves, but he can't. And so he's just going to have to sit there like, can you please? This is so humiliating. <laughs> Goro's brother, Maychamp, is there. And he's like, feed, spoon. Feed. I'm big. Go faster. Griffin, what what Pokemon would you least like to spoon feed? What Pokemon would I least like to spoon feed? Yeah. Mine's Mr. Mime. Muck. M- <laughs> Muck. Muck and or his terrible little brother, Grimer. One of those two. A Lolan variant, traditional muck, whatever, man. I do. The last thing that I need is a living pile of slime in my house bigger than I am. We just, yeah. I spilled coffee on these carpets that we had put in when we moved into this house in DC. And it, that's like there forever. And I have to struggle with that every time I look down uh, at below my desk. I see the big brown stain there. And it looks like it could be Dookie. And I know that like my friends are going to see my cool office and be like, wait a minute, is that Dookie? There? The idea that I would invite a big slime monster in my house who would yeah. not only destroy my carpets and get all my stuff all sticky, he would be like, food, like sucks. I don't want any part of that. Justin, did you have one? No, I, I said Mr. Mime. I, I, I don't like Mr. Mime. I don't like the way Mr. Mime looks. Yeah. I don't okay. like uh, he anything has, about Mr. Mime. His na- he has a title. His name is Mr. It implies he has a first name. Yeah. Mr. 
Mr. Jeremy Mine. Uh, have have sleepovers. It's fun, and you can invite your friends and socialize. Probably Obviously. Not. Hey, Obviously. we all sleep below my Pokemon shelf tonight? Cool. Cool. It's super sturdy. My dad put it in <laughs> real good. He said we could have the different shelves, too, because I don't have that many Pokemon yet. Also, keep your grades up. Uh, yeah, it doesn't say to keep your grades up, but obviously. It's implied. If it's they, implied. If you start to slip. Hey, you got to stop hanging out with Mr. Mime. He's a bad influence on you. <sighs> don't listen to that asshole. We know that Pokemon will some, up. If you don't have enough badges, Pokemon will not listen to the shit that you say. And I love that. I think that's great. If you have a Pokemon that's stronger than you are as a person and you don't have a badge, that Pokemon's like, get the fuck it. Use Hydro Pump. Fuck off. You're not my dad. I went to college. I went to college. Blastoise is my dad. You're You're just Griffin, a dude who threw a ball at me once. And now you get to tell me exactly what to do. Should and I was pretty drunk on berries at the time, which I was seems unfair. Up. I do not think this is a fair arrangement. That's how to become a loving Pokemon, uh, loving and caring Pokemon trainer with your plush. 